Hey guys, welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to resell a ERS7 um, or uh, 31X battery. Um, first thing you're gonna wanna do is open up your battery. Um, you can do this by following Evie's tutorial on how to open cells. So um, yeah, let's get started. So now that you've got your uh, ERS7 or ERS, 3XO battery out. Um, you want to take these little stickers off if you want. You don't necessarily have to. I just did. Um, but you want to desolder it um, from the board. So you want to start with the negative, which is up here, then the sensor, and then the positive, which is this one right here. Um, similar to the 210, it should be the same process. Okay, once you have all of your wires soldered to the EEPROM, um, like this, uh, you can take a picture of this. It has all of the wires and where they solder up to on said EEPROM right here. Um, once you have them soldered on, you can connect that to the computer. All right, so when you have the EEPROM flasher hooked up, it should look like this. Um, the green is your ground that's hooked up to the Dale. Um, the chip, it literally says Dale on it. I don't know if you can see that. The brown is our VCC, and that hooks up there the red is our right protect that one goes there and it goes there and our clock scl is this yellow one that goes there which hooks up there and last but not least our sda which is our data that hooks up on the last pin and that hooks up here so when you're done it should, the pinout should look like this on your flasher. So the three things you gotta care about in this EEPROM thing are your cycle count up here, which you're gonna wanna reset to one, which is zero, one, zero, zero. And then your last measured discharge and pack capacity, which the cells I'm using are 2400 milliamps. So you put in 6009, 6009. Then you click erase. And you hit right. And there you go. Okay, so once you have your battery assembled, um, excuse the mess with this. Um, I just had to rewire it, but um, I'll include a wiring diagram. Uh, once you have it all wired, make sure you put it together. And make sure you put the positive in last. And the positive you want to put in last is um, this one. You want to put this one in last with the positive. Um, so once you've got that, um, it should charge and it should work just fine. So once uh, once you wire the battery all up correctly, stick it on the charger for a little bit, and it should fill up, and uh, then you'll have a working eyeball battery. Thanks for watching.